Hello, my friends! It's back to Operation Roland. And our scout plane is back on the front line. But before we send it off on a jolly, this fighter is about to have a bad day. Okay, now it is cloudy. So I'm not going to be able to see everything I want to see. I think a flyby past the airport and the objective here would be nice. Okay, the airport's clean and so is... Okay, I mean it just doesn't seem like there's much there. <laughs> wow, talk about being outmatched. Brutal. Right, let's clear away. I'm not moving these because I want to roll them forward. So, any shots I can take without moving, I'll take. Obviously, this thing's got to roll up, so... Right. It looks like the road ahead is clear, but I just want to make sure that it truly is as clear as possible before I start rolling up. Sweet roller! Okay, these guys weren't about to get much further anyway. The heavy weapons team is not the fastest thing on earth. Got shots, no. Hmm, what's the easiest way to get rid of that tank while still allowing my team to push up? Well, I can see as far as I can safely push here. It's like uh, three tiles. Three tiles is about as fast as I can safely go. And the artillery has some issues keeping up. Let's hold them back from the front line. Yeah, I'll do. This is sort of protected by the back, by the fact that it's in a forest, and this is this rough area makes this difficult to get to. I kind of really want to bring that up. Alright, let's just bash it down. So risky because Well, there is a Wesper. 
I'm surprised I'm allowed to restock this because I haven't got. This is this is not this is not a unit that I have. I have no I have no supply of them. So far as I know. So I don't understand but I I am allowed to reinforce it. Do it. Right, I'm finally can have a recon car on the other line. Look at this, this is almost forming an actual proper line. There we go, it's all that protected. Go boys. My engineers are actually super fast. But I don't think there's anywhere on the actual front front line where it would be safe to keep them. That's protected by too hard. That's in hard mode at the moment. Well, as super fast as they are, they'll be able to just push up if I need them to. You know, next turn I might find a moment to just repair one of these uh, infantry units and actually see if it comes out of my stock or not. Rather than just guessing. Right, one rocket artillery. Guess that's a good place for it. Defended from hard, but still in the open. Okay, that just leaves the Air Force. I guess there's no harm in defending the scout plane. I haven't seen any enemy uh, I haven't seen any anti-aircraft guns from them. What is that? What is that? softening. Let's just make sure we stay defended. What is this? General Vatutin. KV-85. With rapid fire 2x and AT support and fearsome reputation. Wow, that's not scary at all. Although, he is currently parked in a swamp tile like an idiot, so... If he stays there at the start of the next sunny day, 
then uh, I don't care what his offensive stats are, he's going to be a smoldering wreck by the start of the next turn. Okay. That's some very light damage. <sighs> That's not so light. Wow, he actually ran the ammo dry. He ran the ammo dry on some of my guys there. That's uh, that was uh, on my uh, dive on my uh, jet fire. That's a lot of that's a lot of anti air. That's like that's all anti air. Rapid fire, double support, artillery support, and evasive. Okay. Don't know if I should scramble my fire to go after that. Well. That is quite the unpleasant little setup they have there, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know, I think, I feel like the losses might just be worth taking. I've got ground to cover. Uh, speaking of which, actually, what were the captured... sure why you would use this. It's kind of rubbish. Okay, all right. Get out. I wonder how well a fight against this would go. Not great. But it's weak to being strat bombed. Because of the type of anti air it is. That just prevents it from doing too much damage to my jet fire. Wow, this boy is tough. I'm just accepting losses here. I know that this is going to get a couple of kills on my fire, and this is probably going to get a kill on my fire. But these guys need repairs now, so they're going to have to either return to base, or if they carry on attacking, it's going to be rough.
Once again, this is on the edge of the operational area. I think it's fine. Now. Where there's fighters, more often than not, there's bombers. So. Let's be a little bit cautious and ensure that everything is fully protected by anti-aircraft guns at all times. While I roll my support into position. Tile, isn't it? Yep, it's just rough. The forest tile is only dangerous if there's infantry around, and then with that said, you can shield with artillery. Okay, no one's going to rush in and attack that. That's suicide. Six of eighteen pioneers, just out of interest. Does that come out of my allocation? 92. 90, it does. Auxiliary repairs come out of my allocation, even though I have no Vespers. No, wes no Vesper. I, uh, I can still repair them, so that's weird. Okay, this protects these. Obviously, I need the anti-air over there. We're splitting into two distinct groups. They can actually force march. These two should protect each other. I'm just thinking that I should stick this here and then... Then we're well defended. If I could also roll an anti-tank behind it or next to it, that would be great, but... Not necessary. This unit. No, that's fine. I can't go to this tile here because it's only defended against soft, not hard. Which means my recon car would attract tanks. And that's the kind of unpleasant attention we don't want. These tanks haven't got enough movement to get into the forest here, so the artillery is fine. Okay. 
follow this road. We'll follow this road up to the front line without having to go through the forest. Okay, not much more to say. Just a bit of a movement round, really. Just shuffling forward. Okay, well that was to be expected. Oh, shrecked by my camouflage day, eh? Okay, that was pretty, uh, that was pretty fine. That was pretty fine. That is a Panzer three, isn't it? Four. What? was that doing in the hands of mine enemies? I find the situation to be extremely inappropriate. Okay. Right, um... <laughs> Putting aside being stupid for a minute, let's, uh... I want to put this here for full anti-tank support or do I? Unfortunately this artillery does not have the movement to get here. Okay, this works. If I do it like this, this is now in an open tile. So it's protected by the fact that it's hard from soft. Now I can put this in the center. And even though it's in a close combat tile, it's protected by the wall around it. So it's fine. We will soon bypass this forest. Then all will be well. Right, there's a certain individual here with a very nasty tank who needs another carpet bombing. Bye. Double rapid fire did not did not save him from air superiority.
Now this is normally where I'd, I'd just attack to uh, break entrenchment, but it's not entrenched. And I can't do any damage to it. And even if I could, it might not be worth it because I don't want to get overwhelmed again and run out of ammunition, so... Do have a spy plane ready? Let's bring the spy plane up just so I can have a look around. Blomp. Goodbye, guards. The old Surrendermatic is slowly making it to the front line where it will assist me in dealing with horrible artillery like this. One for two. This the waff the waffle thing is just so it's so slow and painful to use. It's so immobile. Okay, that'll do. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Put this here as bait once again. A tank attacking that would get two hits instead of these guys fighting individually. Can I bring this? This is totally fine because these two are just bait in a way. If a tank were to fly down and attack them, which I don't think any other tanks can actually reach, but if if they were if anything were to run down and attack them, they're going to get hit uncontestedly by this, which is going to deal some really serious damage. We're right on top of the enemy airfields here, so here's hoping we can capture one, like say this one or this one, and rebase my air force there. 
we haven't got many turns to go. I mean, the actual main objectives are well within reach. It's just that I wanted to capture this, this, and this, because they've all got names, and this. And I just... I don't want to miss any sweet caches of anything, so... The advance is going smoothly. If you don't have access to the 6th army, I suppose it would be much worse. Oof. Man, those things are a menace. Oh, he did not see it. Okay, well, anyway, we're out of time. It seemed like the perfect moment to stop. I think clearing this should be a relatively simple process. Then the question is, what else is there out there on this map? You know, for all I know... You know, there could be an awesome cachet here, and it's surrounded by units. Or there could be nothing. I mean, that could be true for any of these points. But I'm just interested in exploring this map. Especially after my mission cut short the last time. Definitely going to try and uh, avoid having that happen again. This thing is finally going to reach the front line. Let me tell you, man. The, the slight loss in stats is a small price to pay for uh, the two extra movement that the Jagdpanther brings. That's for sure. If, if I've gained any thoughts about this, it uh, about my equipment during this specific map, it is that the elephants are just too slow. They're inappropriately slow. Now don't get me wrong, it's not a problem on small maps and they can reliably push two tiles even through rough terrain. But if you want to cover, if you want a solid pace, if you want like a two plus pace, they really fall behind. And of course, things which I already knew to be true, like the, you know, the Neville Warfare is just junk. That uh, non-15 centimeter artillery is, generally speaking, junk. I suppose the portable Warfare is not so bad. But the biggest issue with the, with the, it's not just the unwieldy nature of it, it's also that uh, it's only got two ammo by default, making it highly vulnerable to saturation. If you attacked with it on your turn, it's got one shot. That means that, you know, saturation infantry attacks can very much overwhelm your defense. Whereas artillery, man, with five shells, it sometimes feels like their ammunition is endless. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.